antimatter, the ultimate way to store energy. Just one kilogram could destroy an entire city. This video looks at three different ways to use antimatter. Use one, space travel. Because of gravity's pull, rockets need a lot of energy to leave the Earth. But despite their impressive appearance, chemical fuels can't store much energy at all. For example, one kilogram of liquid hydrogen could power a home for three days. And this might seem a lot, but even the most powerful chemical rockets struggle to reach the nearest planet, and it would take 100,000 years to reach the nearest star to our sun. Now, we could try nuclear fuel. For example, one kilogram of uranium could power the entire city of London for one day. This could get us to Mars in about 45 days, but the nearest star system would still take a thousand years, not very useful to us. But antimatter is the ultimate rocket fuel. According to E equals mc squared, one kilogram of antimatter releases 180 petajoules of energy, enough to power the whole Earth for an entire day. With these energies, we could travel close to the speed of light, reaching the nearest star in under a decade. And at these speeds, even time itself would slow down for those on board, making the journey seem even shorter for them. Use two, medical imaging. Antimatter is currently used in PET scans, positron emission tomography, to create 3D images of the inside of living things, even seeing brain activity. So how is this done? Firstly, the patient is injected with a radioactive substance called a tracer, such as fluorine 18, which spreads into the bloodstream. The radioactive fluorine atoms are disguised as sugar molecules to trick cells into letting it inside. Fluorine 18 is unstable, however, and quickly decays into oxygen 18 and a positron, basically an antimatter electron. When the positron touches electrons in the patient's body, the matter and the antimatter annihilate into pure energy in the form of two gamma rays. The two gamma rays leave the patient's body in opposite directions and reach a detector. Basically, it's a camera that uses gamma rays instead of light. Based on the time taken for the gamma rays to reach the detector, the exact location of the annihilation is calculated, and once enough events have been detected, a 3D image can be formed of the inside of people's bodies, and doctors can do useful things. For example, they can detect tumours in people's bodies, they can study the inside of living things without having to dissect them, and they can even diagnose brain disorders like Alzheimer's. Use 3. Weapons the largest nuclear bomb ever detonated, the Tsar bomber, had a blast radius of 35 kilometers, enough to completely destroy the entire city of London. But the bomb was eight meters long and weighed 27 tons. You would only need one kilogram of antimatter to release the same amount of destructive energy. The antimatter would be stored in a penning trap, which uses magnetic and electric fields to keep the antimatter from touching the container walls. To detonate the bomb, you simply turn the battery off, the antimatter then touches the container walls, which are made of normal matter, with both turning into pure energy. Fortunately, creating antimatter requires very expensive atom smashers called supercolliders, making it by far the most expensive substance on Earth. In fact, making one kilogram of antimatter requires about 100 times the entire world's annual GDP. So you're safe for now. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for some more exciting science content.